I know that this isn't my first undisputed fight. This isn't my first time um, having a very, very hard training camp and being the underdog. This isn't my first time. Um, I've done this numerous of times, and I've come out on top every time. Um, it's going to feel good to just kind of quiet all the doubters about, you know, this knockout power and the lack of my skill and the lack of my accomplishments or whatever the case may be because, you know, for – I've never seen something like this in boxing before. Not the all women's card, because that's magnificent. But someone who lives off of an amateur win for 10 years. God. I mean, sometimes I think about it and I'm like, it's like they're trying to erase everything I've done in the past 10 years because I have been dominant in boxing for a decade since I was 17. I didn't turn. I didn't win the Olympics and then just have a terrible career. It was like, I won the Olympics. I won it again. I turned pro. I won titles. And it's just like, wow, that's still not enough for you guys. Okay. So I'm here to fight against who um, UK considers the best. I'm here to fight against who UK considers the knockout puncher, right? And I'm here to show you guys that I am a very special talent that – Champions are not made, they're born, and that I was born to do this. So that's why I'm here. I'm happy to be here with the naysayers and the doubters and the fans. I love you guys. It's going to be a great show. And um, you will all be fans after. Are you going to knock me out? You said it was a diabolical performance. Unanimous decision. But against another <laughs> undefeated fighter. But are you... Savannah Marshall going to knock out Clarissa Shields. I've been asked this for the past 12 weeks, and I've never once said I'm going to knock you out. I said I'm going to hurt you, and I will. Are you going to knock me out? Yes or no? I'm going to hurt you, and I will. <laughs> yeah, we, don't, we still don't have an answer. Well, we'll see when you wake up on the canvas. I'll ask you then. Do I have Savannah, knock you out? And you can listen, then. listen here. I don't know why you think you're so big and so strong, but you're not. All this facade, you're knocking out these bums. I'm, I'm sorry. It's not even phasing me. It's actually comical. And you know what? You would be a fool to come in there and stand there in my face in a, in a boxing ring. And your best bet is to try to box and move. You stand there with me, you're going to be the one sleep. Oh, you're going to be sleep. 12 last You're going to be sleep because you're not stronger than me. You're not stronger than me. I had a whole different game plan for Emma than you. I'm not worried about you. Jesus, we haven't seen how different in 12 fights. One will. Tell you what, I'll be Stop. impressed if you do something different. I'll tell Stop. you that. Guess what? what? I, I, I put in 11 weeks for this camp just to show you. Well, I put you in not, you about, You're not about to get in there and walk through me. You're not about to walk through me. Stop it. You're going you're gonna to walk through. I, I can't wait to after the fight because all I want you to say is, Clarissa, you may have a big mouth, but you back it up every time. That's what I want you to say after the fight. And you know what? You be hating on my chain. You be hating on it, but, but, but guess what? I bet you this chain that you don't win the fight. Oh, no, thank you. Yeah. I'll just take exactly. the belts. I'll just have the belts. You're not going to have the belts. I don't want put, no chain. I don't want Put $35,000 of your, of your purse Well, I don't know why you're over there, but I'd be taking that right back. What'd you just say? I'd be taking that right back. You've been oh, all over spending you, time. You want to be the gloat. You want to have a chain. Oh, oh, no, thank you. You want to be the gloat. You want to have a chain. You want to be me. You want to have the belts. You want the Olympic gold medals. You want it. You want it. Right? No. Chris yes, you do. I'm thinking oh, my nothing God. Worse. Who doesn't Chris want to win the Olympics worse. for their country? Hey, where your gold medals at? Hey, you want this chain? You want hey, my belts? It's oh, a God, no, no, thank you. It, it's a valid question. <laughs> huh? It's a valid question. Where, where your gold medals at, huh? Huh? You got opinion? Oh, I hate you a hater. It doesn't matter because everybody has huh? opinions. You are? Everybody yeah, that's has opinions. You don't like anyone who's no, got an opinion no. against you. I don't like you that. You don't like? No. You want I don't know like why? that. Because you you're a bully. are a hater. You're and nothing that you but don't a bully. No. That's what you are. I'm a bully. You're a bully. You a, I'm a bully. Whoa. Yeah, you are. That's what you are. You're a I bully. I swear. That's the first time I've ever heard that one. Uh, <laughs> I'm confident. Good, you want to be? You need You that. lack confidence. Lots of it and always have and always will. 
And guess we'll what? Say, on Saturday, Saturday, we'll say come Saturday when I'm oh, stepping Saturday, over Oh, Saturday, you better believe every word you say, because I'm about to put you through hell. Good, that's what I'm coming for. It. If I don't I get the best cl- version of Clarissa, no I'll be disappointed. If I get that Clarissa that no turned up in Cardiff. No. You about to take an L? No. 12 and 1 on the way. Yeah, don't you know? 12 and 1 on the way. I'll see you Saturday and just keep my belt warm for me. Savannah. I'll see you Saturday. Clock's ticking two more days till I become a disputed middleweight champion of the world. Yeah, I've worked extremely hard to get to this point in my career. Um, so I'm not stopping now. Like, There's no way I'm going to let this fight get away from me. Um, I know how unforgiving this sport can be, and I know that um, even though I'm on top of my game now and I feel like I'm the best, it can be taken away from you at any moment. So it's going to be just as hard to stay in this position as it was to get here, and I've had that mentality throughout this whole camp. I, I know there's been a lot of trash talk between me and Baumgartner, but I respect her enough to have trained extremely hard for this fight, and I plan on getting a strong, tough version of her on Saturday. Anybody can be, be beat. You know, um, my record shows that I have a loss on my record. I did not let that define me. I came back stronger and came back fighting. So, again, um, I set my mind to be undisputed at 130. And this is another moment in my career to make sure that happens and that my hand would be risen September 10th. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it seems as though I feel like she's disregarded what I've accomplished in the sport and my skill level. And like I said, I respected her enough to train my absolute hardest for a very badass version of Baumgartner. I trained for that, and I hope she respects me enough to do the same. Prediction? I'm going to take her into deep waters. She likes to box. She likes to stay safe. And uh, I'm going to take her in places that she's never been before. She's definitely never been in the ring with someone like me. I'm absolutely her biggest test. Last word for you, Alicia. What's going to happen? Michaela is nobody different. Again, I've been wanting to fight this girl since the amateur days. She's a seasoned amateur. She's turned pro. I'm a pro. So, again, we're going to see the professionalism at the highest level. I'm an elite athlete. So you will see the technique, the skill, the power, and all that's going to all come together September 10th. And again, undisputed at 1.30.